What will happen on the day of the rapture? For just as the lightning comes from the east and flashes even to the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. In Matthew 24, 27, Jesus uses the analogy of lightning to describe the sudden and unexpected nature of his return. Lightning strikes are visible from a great distance, and they can be seen and heard across vast areas. Similarly, Jesus' return will be a global event, witnessed by all people everywhere. Just as lightning is a powerful force of nature, so too will Jesus' return be a cataclysmic event that will shake the world to its core. 1 Thessalonians 4 16, 17. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Matthew 24, 19. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. Woe to those is a way of expressing deep sympathy and concern for those who will be suffering during this time. It is a reminder that the second coming will not be a time of happiness and joy for everyone. Revelation 3, 10. Because you have kept the word of my perseverance, I also will keep you from the hour of testing, that hour which is about to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth.